Hello and welcome to your daily love message from your person. My name's Liz and this is Guided by Angels. And I'm going to bring in the gorgeous heart to heart messages today to bring in a message from your person to you. And I'm also going to channel a card that came out in the earlier reading today. But I want to bring this through in another way. Something they've given me to share with you right now. And if you would like a personal reading with me, you can reach out to me at guidedbyangelsxo at gmail.com. So what does your person want to say to you today? What's on their mind? What's in their heart? What are they feeling deep within them? What do they want you to know on this day? They're definitely doing lots and lots and lots of thinking right now. Lots of dreaming, lots of connecting in a powerful way with you. So a few cards coming out. I still feel there's more. These ones are sticking out the deck. I still feel there's a few more to come out of you. So I'm taking out what's coming out. So I've also got some coming out on the floor. So there's quite a few messages coming out today. I'm going to take them. And I'm not surprised this card's moving as well because this message here. Now, I channeled this in the early reading, but they want me to bring the card in again because what they're really showing it as a message to you is that they are coming to you in dreams because this is a dream portal here. And because right now they may not feel they have the confidence to be able to come to you in a physical way, they are gaining the confidence to come to you in a spiritual way. So this door is like a door from the physical world into the 5D world or into the dream world where they are able to be with you. That's where they are taking that leap of faith. That's where they are showing you how they feel. That's where they're able to follow their dreams without any restrictions or limitations or any fear around doing something wrong or making a mistake or any, any karmic situations. They are stepping out of those situations to be able to come to you in this way. And it's unexpected. So you may wake up thinking, I've just had a dream about them and it was so intense. What does it mean? Or maybe you've you wake up very quickly and you're sweating or you feel the heat or you're feeling something in your physical self or you wake up very tired and you don't know why when you've had quite a good sleep. So you are definitely connected in the dream realm and what they're showing me is they are coming to you in that way until they're able to come to you through the physical. So if they are blocking you, for example, not communicating with you, if they are in another situation that's stopping them from being with you, they are still coming to you through their dreams. And this isn't just when they are asleep. This is also when they are allowing themselves to think about you or when their mind goes off thinking about you. Sometimes they're just busy overthinking and then they calm their energy down and then there you are. They may be at work, they may be doing something a bit mundane or boring or something that is just a routine to them and their mind wanders to you. And there they are with you, dreaming about you, fantasizing about you, visualizing their life with you. But they are stepping through this portal to the dream realm. And I feel the dragon has opened this doorway. And there's motorbikes going past again, which are big signs about movement and speed and change. And they're going to come forward to you in the physical in a very unexpected way. It may happen when you least expect it when you're busy doing something else or they may even come forward with an apology that you weren't expecting or a romantic gesture but I feel in this car where I'm connecting with is a peacock energy they are gaining the confidence and the courage to step forward to you and they're doing that right now through a dream and I'm not surprised so many cards have come out here either because they've got things to say they are saying to you it will always be you for me it's always you it will always be you. Now, they may actually be coming to you in dreams and telling you these things too. You may even be dreaming about the future. You may be having other dreams where you're purging out fears. But I feel they are coming to you in some way, shape or form, possibly through a dream or even through a song to tell you what they are showing you in these cards. So the first message is it will always be you for me, always. That means it will never change. Their feelings for you will never change. And I want to be the one who holds your hand as we walk down the road. And that's also what they're dreaming about. They're dreaming about walking hand in hand with you so that everybody can see that you are together. And they want to show people that you are together because they are proud of you. They're proud to hold your hand. They want to show you off in their world. They want to hold you close. And when you're holding hands, it's beautiful. You're also going to hold hands in bed when you fall asleep. It's going to be a very beautiful life that you share together and it's worth waiting for. 
They want to be the one who holds your hand. So they may also be in fear here about you being with someone else, wondering who you're with, what you're doing, curious about you, maybe checking your social media. Maybe you're even feeling pangs of jealousy and you don't know why because you know you may have healed that and it's coming from them because they don't want you holding hands with anybody else. And for those of you that are in a karmic relationship, because remember, it's not just about them being in a karmic relationship. You could be in a karmic relationship too. If you're the one in a karmic relationship, they want to be the one holding your hand. So they are feeling very frustrated about that. They're asking you to look at your life and make changes. But they want to be the one who holds your hand as you walk down the road. And they want to commit to you, get married to you share the rest of their life with you. That's what's on their mind. This is long-term plans. And we spoke about that in the early reading today. So these are things they are dreaming about. Commitment, marriage, being with you for the rest of their life, holding hands with you, telling you how they feel. This is what's on their mind right now. And they want you to know they are doing what needs to be done on their part so they can be free to be with you, which means walking away from a karmic situation, sorting out the finances, dealing with their addictions, dealing with their demons, their fears, their stress, sorting out their life so that they can be with you. And they may also be dreaming about this too. How would it be to become self-employed? What would it be like to pay off that debt? What would it be like to end the relationship with a karmic partner? What would life look like after that? What would it be like if they were living their best life with you, married to you, vacationing with you, spending time with you, maybe changing their job to something more in alignment with who they truly are. They are doing what they need to be so they can be free because you are without a doubt the best thing that's ever happened to them and they want you to know that today, especially if they've made you doubt that or they've made you feel otherwise because of the way they've acted or behaved or things they've said. They are saying you are the best thing that's ever happened to me. I don't want anyone else just you, because you're my true love. So if they need to free themselves from a karmic situation, that's what they know they need to do. They don't want anyone else. That's why they're pushing that person away. That's why they're creating distance between them. Even if it feels like they are creating distance between them and you, they are creating distance so they can become free because they just don't want anyone else. Just like you don't want anyone else. And they know that you have options. They know that you are attractive. They know that you are amazing, that you could be with anyone right now. And they feel completely blessed and honored that you've chose them. And they want to show you that they are choosing you because it's never about them choosing you or someone else. It's about them needing to choose themselves. And when they see you shine in your light, they're able to follow in your footsteps. When they see you changing your life, they want to change their life. So if you've left a karmic situation, they see that they can leave their karmic situation. If you're living your best life, shining your light, doing you, being authentic, you're showing them that they can do the same. Your person is saying, I am following in your footsteps because I see you. I see you shining. It's beautiful. And I want to be the same. I want to live a life of happiness too and enjoy my life with you. And I miss you. I miss seeing your beautiful face. I miss just being with you. They are missing you. This is another reason why they're watching you on social media, because they miss your face. They miss looking at you. They miss connecting with you. They miss being with you. They miss spending time with you. They're missing being friends with you. They're missing everything about you right now. This is why they're dreaming about you. And they're saying to you, I never stopped loving you, even when I said I did. I am still in love with you. I'm still in love with you. I never stopped loving you. Even when I denied it, pushed you away, pretended I didn't care, said cruel and nasty things to you. I never stopped loving you. I am still in love with you and I will love you for the rest of my life. Why? Because you've opened them up. You've changed their life. You've opened them up to who they truly are, to the love they feel in a way they've never felt it before. You have opened me up to who I truly am, the person God made me to be. And to love in a way I've never known love before. You've shown me what love is. This is what I'm dreaming about. And I want you to know that the 3D world is not real. My physical situation, the mask I wear on social media, the karmic situation I'm in, 
the job I'm still doing that doesn't serve me, the people I'm around that discourage me. Don't let those people or those situations I am in or my physical world discourage you. This life I am living here is not meant to be. We are meant to be. This too shall pass. Whatever challenges we're going through, we'll get through them. And it's insane how much I miss you. I can't stop thinking about you. And I daydream about making love to you. And I so wish for it to come true. This is what I'm connecting with here, the daydream. The dreamer. Dreaming about you when they are sleeping, but also in the day. Daydreaming about you, making love to you, marrying you, thinking about how the life would be when they break out of these chains. That's what I'm seeing here. They've just got to open the door. They've just got to open that gate. They've just got to change their life. And they are saying to you, we will get through this. It's been a tough, this part of our journey. It's been painful, a challenge, but we're coming out on the other side, having learned a great deal and grown up so much. So your person is saying, I've been growing up a lot. I've been learning a lot. I've been learning a great deal while we haven't been together. And we're going to get through this time together because we're here for a reason. We have a mission. We're here to do bigger things together, to help the world, to be a part of God's plan to be a part of the solution, to make the world a better place. And I want to do that with you because we are meant to be. I want to be a part of your life and I miss holding you in my arms. I miss you and my love for you is beyond words. Sometimes I can't express it or explain it, but I always feel it. And I feel it deep inside of me. Can you feel it too? So if you're feeling all of this, if your heart is overflowing with love for them, it's because their heart is overflowing with love for you. This is why it's so important to be patient because they know they can't do this life without you. They know they don't want to carry on without you. I've done it for too long. We've been apart for too long. We've both done long enough without each other. I will make it happen. And this is also them reminding you they need to do their work. They are the one that has to take action to change their life. They are asking you to trust them to reach out to you, to do what they need to do. And until that happens, the journey is protected. Your journey is watched over and guided. That's why you see rainbows. Our journey is protected and guided from above. And someday soon, I'm going to show you just how much I care and how much it means to me. Someday soon. This means anything can happen at any time. So keep the faith. And they do see the signs. They know that you belong together. They see the signs just like you do. They know you belong together because of the way they feel. Because you're being guided and directed. And they are saying to you, I'm not who I was before. I'm going through significant changes at this time to be with you. And that's why they are coming to you in this dream. Because that's where they can be their authentic self. That's where they can express how they feel to you without fear, without fear of abandonment or rejection or dealing with their karmic situations. They are coming to you in the dreams to show you this is what's ahead. So I feel the message I need to share with you today is previews in dreams. You're being shown in your dreams exactly what they're going to do, how they're going to do it and when. You may even get timelines coming to you in dreams. You could even see things like Christmas trees or Maybe you're seeing the sun or always pay attention to your dreams. So it's so important, especially over the weekend, you write down what you're dreaming about, especially between now and the Lionsgate portal, because you've been given signs and synchronicities in your dreams as well as in your physical world. And they want you to know this is real. They are in love with you and they intend to show you everything in time. So give them time and have faith. I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.